Let's talk about running a 380 volt 50 hertz motor on 460 volts at 60 hertz. Let's look at the inductive reactance of a coil. The formula for that is just XL is equal to 2 times pi times the frequency times the inductance in Henry's. We'll add some numbers to that. Uh, 2 times 3.14 times 60 hertz times 0.5 Henry's is going to be equal to 188.4 ohms. To get our current in the coil, we just divide the uh, voltage by the resistance. We've got 460 volts, and we divide that by 188.4 ohms. That comes out to 2.44 amps. Now if we take 2 times pi, 3.14 times 50 hertz times 0.5 Henry, that's going to be 157 ohms. And of course we divide that, the voltage, by the, the ohms. 157 ohms goes into 380 volts. That's going to be 2.42 amps. The difference between the two coils is only uh, 2 hundredths of an amp. Now we can figure it a different way. is saturation, the ratio of volts to frequency. Now if you take 460 volts and you divide it by 60 hertz, you get 7.66 volt hertz. And if you divide 380 by 50, you get 7.6. Very close. The only thing you have to watch out for is that the uh, the speed of the, the motor is going to be faster at 60 hertz. A two-pole motor at 60 hertz will run at 3600 rpm and 3000 rpm at uh, 50 hertz. This doesn't take into account slip. For a four-pole motor it's 1800. That's going to be about 1750 with if you count the uh, slip and uh, 1450 for a four-pole motor. And uh, then at you know six is going to be twelve hundred or a thousand, and an eight pole motor will be nine hundred hertz or seven fifty. So if your machinery can handle the extra speed, then you won't have any problem running the uh, the three hundred and eighty volt fifty hertz motor at uh, four hundred and sixty volts at sixty hertz. Thank you.